I can hardly believe it guys, the day is finally here where I can share with you exactly when our cottages will be on Airbnb ready to be rented out. But before getting into that, let's start way at the beginning. I know you've heard me say some of these things over and over, but for those of you that missed it, uh, we build or got some cottages built that we plan to rent out. This has always been a dream of ours, kind of a far off dream that we thought probably wouldn't ever happen, but wouldn't it be fun if it would? That sort of dream and it actually happened. Um, I praise God for it first and foremost. And then it is because of you guys watching my videos that this all came to be. And I have mentioned this before. I'll leave some links down below in the description box of some previous cottage updates or some big announcements that I had made regarding Old Orchard Cottages as we named them. And in case you just want to see some more details, but if you're kind of tired of some of this beginning stuff, just skip ahead to this time and that is where the actual cottage tour will begin. I plan to show you guys every nook and cranny of those cottages because I know you're excited too and I appreciate the excitement. It's so much fun to kind of share it with people. And in this video I also have some new footage that I've never shown before so you may miss some of that but if you're not into that kind of seeing the process again skip ahead to this time and that is where the actual tours will be. I did take some notes here so that I wouldn't miss anything as I kind of take you through the process and hopefully my herbs above me here aren't uh, distracting you. I thought about moving them and I thought no I kind of like sitting in the middle of drying herbs and plus they're drying beautifully. I'll try to get a close-up of the hydrangeas especially. I love the color of them and then of course lavender always dries pretty too. So again starting at the beginning let's get right into it. I don't think I'll ever forget that first evening finding out we might have the opportunity for this land you know, walking up there on that hill and just seeing the cows grazing in the meadow and hearing the crickets chirping. It was so peaceful. It was August 16th, 2021. Over the course of the next few weeks, we went over to this land a lot. Uh, thankfully, it's not really far from our house, only about a 15 minute drive. And we did lots of measuring and putting stakes in the ground and of course changing our minds and re-measuring and uh, putting the stakes in again. We had even thought at one point we'd put three cottages back here, but now we're glad we only went with two to start out with at least. Around this time, I downloaded an app called Room Planner onto my tablet and I spent hours literally on it, often during the night when everyone else was asleep. It was my time to design these little cottages. It was probably the most fun that I've ever had. Like I feel it was even more fun than building them, if that makes sense. Like no headaches whatsoever. I just designed to my heart's content and then it was actually really helpful to have that to kind of go by through this whole process I knew right away usually what I wanted you know as far as even colors and uh, different textures and uh, just the basic layout uh, just made it so much easier I would recommend this app to anyone that's wanting to build it just gives you a visual picture of what your building might look like and later on I'll show more of these images as I compare them to the actual cottage being built um, it's kind of funny how things kind of look the same. I mean, I of course was a little limited in my selection sometimes with, you know, designing it. I kind of got the basics pretty much the same. When we started planning for these cottages, we decided to go with JDM structures and get them to build them for us. We have not regretted that decision, guys. I've talked about this before, but they did a phenomenal job. John and I would definitely recommend them whether you're wanting to build a large house or a small storage barn, anything in between, I'm pretty sure they can help you out. The way their system works is they actually build their walls or pre-built them in their facility, take them out to the job site and put them together. Uh, so it's all really neat just watching that process. We ended up meeting with Adam numerous times. He was so helpful and helping us make our final decisions on about everything, really. I wanted to throw this in here. We were really impressed when Adam came with this little 3D model of the cottage. He took the actual measurements and kind of put it together of how it would actually look. And I, of course, instantly needed some things changed. I thought it was cute, but to me it looked more like a cabin that should be in the woods. And I wanted that steep roof with the wide overhangs. To me, that just speaks cottage. So we were really glad to have this rendering. That way we could tell, you know, it's not quite what we had envisioned. And the second one turned out a lot better. You can probably see the difference.
we signed some contracts with him. Gotta say, one of the best days of my life. I couldn't believe it was happening. And on December 8th, we ended up having a groundbreaking ceremony. It was on a cold, frigid day. I'll never forget how cold I was, but yet how excited. Adam and Alan, another guy that works there, came out and joined us in our ceremony. Um, Adam led us in a beautiful prayer. And then the building process began. I won't go into a lot of details and all of this building stuff because I feel like I covered it in another video. Again, check out that video if you're interested in more of the details. I was of course always kind of nervous you know going over there and just wondering what it would look like like if they did something major is it going to look okay I always thought if something looks way off it'll be my fault but thankfully I was always really happy with how things looked Of course, for me, the fun part began when the inside started and JDM really just put up the structure for us uh, up to the siding. After that, we were kind of on our own. Either we did things ourselves or got other people to help. And one of the people that worked there probably for the longest time was Joel. I talked about him before, but he did all of the tile work and he also helped John with the flooring. Um, he's really good. He's kind of a jack of all trades. He can kind of do anything. And speaking of flooring, let me talk just a bit about the hardwood floors that we had installed in the cottages. Probably one of my favorite, if not my favorite thing in both of the cottages. I just love it. 
Um, it actually comes from a place in Magnolia, Ohio called Old Wood Design. And when we visited that place, I was just enthralled. I mean, all of their wood comes from old barns that were torn down or dead trees that had to be removed. So I just, of course, love that idea. It has so much character. Of course, it's not you know perfectly even, but that's the charm of it. Every piece is different. The one cottage has the white oak and the other one has hickory. I'm not sure which I'd pick to be my favorite. I love them both. I won't try to mention every single person that helped with the cottages because I know I'll end up missing someone, but just know that we could not be more impressed with all of the work that was done there. I can't really remember ever just feeling disappointed. So much to be thankful for. After the tile work was done came the cleaning part, and I gotta say, my mom is one of the best cleaners I've ever seen. Things are guaranteed to be clean when she cleans, so she and dad helped out a lot with that, like the painting and the cleaning, and of course Marlene and MB were also over there helping at times with cleaning. Uh, just so many things to do, but all so exciting. This was probably one of the most satisfying things to do at the cottages was removing these stickers. Now I say sticker, it's not really a sticker because it didn't have like a sticky residue. It was more like a screen protector you'd find on a new phone. It was just really easy to peel off. And I have nightmarish memories of being a young girl at home when mom and dad built the house that we're in now. Um, they also had Anderson windows installed and they came with stickers on them that you had to pick and use razor blades and um, I think we soaked them in anything and everything we could think of and still left sticky residue. It was terrible. So I would say Anderson definitely stepped up their game by having these clear peel off things. Um, so awesome. Plus the windows were super clean after peeling that off. You know, you get lots of dust and dirt from just, you know, a building project. And we waited to remove them until we were ready to actually clean. And then the whole cottage was just brightened up. It was pretty amazing. Just to give you a brief overview of the paint that we used in the cottages, in case you're curious uh, what kind of different whites we used. Uh, of course, everything was painted, you know, the walls and the ceiling and the trim. Uh, we bought the interior doors at Kime Lumber and Charm, and I spray painted those at home. I've discovered with new housing or any rooms that you want to paint everything in it, you know, including the trim, it's always best to paint the trim first. Uh, so I did that using spectral paint. Uh, I've talked about that paint color before. I knew I would want to incorporate that into the cottage as being that is my favorite white color. So most of the trim is painted using spectral. Now some of the hallway trims in I think one of the cottages I ended up going with the same color as the walls, which that is ultra white. Um, it's Do It Best brand paint just off the shelf. It didn't need to be tinted. And then the interior doors are also painted ultra white. But going back to the trim color, I just love how the color spectral made everything kind of pop from the walls. I'm just giving it kind of a shadowy look. And since we're on the subject of the windows, of course we wanted shades installed and had Creative Homes do that for us. You guys probably saw this in previous videos, but we are still loving those shades. I've said this before, but I love how you don't really see them when you walk into the cottages, but they're there to use, you know, if need be. I, of course, skipped many steps here as far as, you know, furniture and setting things up, but most of you guys probably saw that in previous videos. I had shared some of the furniture that we used, some I just repurposed, and some I bought. And I'll try to leave some links down below in the description box of anything I'm able to link. And then, of course, Creative Homes link I'll have there, too, in case you want to check out their shades. And, of course, towards the end came the decorating part, uh, probably the most fun for me. Uh, I know I've said that before about the different steps, but this was a lot of fun. Um, I was able to use some of my own decor that I had at home. And, of course, I bought some, too. I was blessed to have MB help me. She always has good taste, and I value her opinions.
I tend to overthink things at times when it comes to decorating, uh, change my mind often. In this clip you see a prime example of MB and I debating on what we want to put on the nightstands. We did finally get it right, I think. I'll go ahead and add those clips to compare what I designed this past winter and how it looks now. I kind of smiled to myself when I saw that I had used a fiddle leaf fig plant in the same corner where I have an actual one. I had forgotten about that when I bought it. In this video, I'll touch just a bit on what we've been doing on the outside. I don't wanna go into a whole lot of detail because I plan to do a separate video on like all of the landscape and some of the other things we've been doing on the outside. But we did have Berlin Gardens bring us some furniture, beautiful outdoor furniture. I can't wait for you guys to try it. Like this is comfortable furniture. Some of these beautiful pieces combined with a fire pit just makes such a cozy space. And then of course these days you have all of your crickets chirping and the mockingbird is usually singing nearby. And then of course the beautiful views. So getting into the actual tours, Kenny was kind enough to take some drone footage for me. I'm always a little intimidated by drones. So I was glad he was operating it. As we're taking this final video footage, there are still some things that need done. There are some bare spots in the lawn we want to fix eventually, but not sure that we'll get to it this year. And as far as the inside, pretty much finished. There are still just a few little tweaks here and there that we're going to be doing. But for the most part, they should be up and ready to go by the time the listing goes live.
In case you're wondering about this cottage sign that's hanging in the living room, uh, this was a description I came up with years ago when I started my business uh, naming it White Cottage Company. Um, I just made up my own definition of what a cottage means to me. It's a really simple definition, as you can see. I'm sure there's fancier ways of saying it, but I thought it would be fitting in here. Little did I know at the time that it would come to this where I'd actually have two little cottages to take care of and furnish and just have so much fun with. I hope you enjoyed those tours and let me know which cottage you like the best. It's always kind of interesting to me to hear. I'd say so far with family and friends, they're probably about even. And for myself, I feel like they're almost like my children. I shouldn't be favoring one, but I always lean just a little bit more toward apple blossom. It's probably more like our home is, like the colors in there, but I do like sparrow's nest too. I, it'd be hard to pick really. I mean, there's kind of pros and cons with both. So that pretty much brings us to the end here and the big announcement on Wednesday, October 19th, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. These cottages will be on Airbnb, ready to be booked. I never thought I'd ever be able to say that. There's been so many last minute things to do and just never ending, but not complaining when I say that. It's just, I've told people already, it's not like if you build a home, like a new home for yourself, you move into it and then you finish some of the things, but for these cottages, you know, you have to have everything ready and finished and it's times two. I'm so excited for this next step with them and that is having people like you there, uh, providing a space for you to relax and just find peace. And I'm even looking forward to adding some of those little touches. I plan to bake some bread and fix some jams and jellies that eventually will come from the orchard, hopefully. And then also uh, having my homemade soap there. And before ending here, I wanna introduce you to our property managers. I've briefly mentioned them before, but they are Nicole and Dustin Steiner. I could not feel better about this. In fact, I feel it's a God thing having them involved. Um, I know they're so good with this sort of thing. They're already managing a few other Airbnbs. They're super hosts on the platform. And I know without a doubt, they're gonna do a great job of it, better than we could. We were so clueless to this part of it as far as you know, pricing and rules that go with rentals. So we're just so grateful to have them to help us out. As always, I hope your day is going great and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.